Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, And good morning So today I'm going to um, Deliver my last lesson For form 2 in semester 1 Which is measures of central tendency Okay, before I start with measures of central tendency I want to um, I want to share with you guys Some of the Some of the um, Data that I have The real one uh, Of what is happening right now in Malaysia and all over the world. You know why we are having MCO because of the pandemic, the COVID nineteen pandemic. Okay, so these are this is one of the data that I have. This is the real one, yeah, kids. Okay, so measures of central tendency got something to do with the graph, with any graph representation. Okay, you have learned graph representation before this: the frequency polygon, the bar chart, the histogram the the graphs the pictogram so this is one of the example of data representation which is this is a frequency polygon now if you can see here this is the real statistic data of what we have the patient of covid-19 in malaysia so there are three uh, colors of the graph one is green one is orange and another one is black so the orange one shows the confirmed cases of patient with COVID-19. The green one shows the, pay, uh, the, the patient that is recovered from the COVID-19 and the black one is the death. Okay, so this is by uh, daily, yeah? daily. So the data shows as daily updates uh, from 12 April to 18 April. So if you can see here, the green one, uh, the recovered cases so the green one shows that the recovered cases is increases the green uh, the orange one it shows that the confirmed cases has getting decreases and look at the death okay it's stagnant and one is higher than than the other which is on 14 of april okay this is one of the example of data okay so uh, let's see I got another one here okay this one the yellow one is the number of uh, people or person who has been infected with COVID-19 the blue one is person who has already discharged from hospital and meaning that they are recovered already and the red one uh, shows that the cumulative cases has been decreases day by day so it shows a good sign of um, the the progress of COVID-19 okay I got another one here as well so this is a bar chart okay so I got this from uh, Facebook so let's see um, MCO starting from the pre MCO 11 to 18 March and until this week week 5 okay so if you see this graph can you um, uh, can you see what's happening in week 5? Can you predict what will happen in week 5? So you see, in pre-MCO, uh, the number of cases is only 641. And it's getting higher and higher and higher until it's week 3. So what government do is that they, strict the, they do the MCO and strictly with all the police and soldiers involved, that's why it's getting lower. So that's a good sign. So probably, so probably the and I hope that COVID nineteen will be settled by uh, at least uh, this month. Okay, so the first one that I say that central tendency got to do with data. Okay, so what is in measures of central tendency? So what is measures of central tendency? By the way, so measures of central tendency is a score that indicates where the center of the distribution tends to be located. So in central tendency, there, is, there are only three things that is very important. Okay, so what is that three things? First thing first is the mode. Mode. Mode is the set of data which has the highest value of its frequency. So that is mode. The highest frequency. If you have a data, then the, the data shows you the highest frequency. Uh, the highest value of its frequency then it is the mode later i show you an example of mode okay so median median is the value that is in the middle of data so for median 
what you do is that you have to arrange how how do we get how do we determine a median so the way how you determine the median is that the data must be arranged in ascending or descending order what does it mean by ascending or descending okay ascending means that a b c d e f or 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 descending means 10 9 8 7 and getting lower okay ascending okay okay wait i got it wrong one more time okay so how do we how do we determine uh, the data so it got two formula one is the number of n number of items or number of data is even then they got formula okay so if the number of data or data yeah, is uh, odd so they got formula for it okay so the even number the position of the uh, median will be arranged sorry this will be the median will be in the middle of data at the position of n over 2 n n over 2 plus 1 position okay i show you this one later okay and for odd number this is easy okay the position of data will be definitely in the middle okay right so when it's even we have to take two position one is n over 2 what is n i know you have learned this before n is the number of data so let's say your data is 20 so 20 over n is 10 20 over 20 over 2 and 20 over 2 plus 1 this is an example okay so your position of median will be will probably be in the middle of 10 and 11 the position okay so if the position if odd is odd this is example okay then it will be exactly at that position okay example if your n is equals to 11 then the median will be 11 plus 1 over 2 will be located at the position of 6 okay don't worry i will show you later on how to get this median so for mean okay let's just go through mean so what is mean mean the formula for mean is total value of data divided with number of data okay or in mathematical ways mean can be write as this or this both are the symbol for mean is equals to sum of x over n or mean sum of fx over sum of f okay we will do this together and i show you step by step okay okay now for this one this is actually for ungrouped data and for this one this is for wait here yeah.
is okay. Let's just continue with this. So this is for group data. Okay. Okay. So I uh, I repeat one more time. So to find the median, the value must be in the middle of data. So the data must be arranged first in the sending or descending order. So if it's if the data is um, even then you have to find the position at two places but if the data the number of data is odd you just need to find at one position only okay so for mean here's the formula the total value of data divided by the number of data okay so i'll show you an example of mode first right Okay, just now what I mentioned to you, mode is the uh, data with the highest frequency. Now, let's see question A. State the mode of each of the data. So, we have 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. So, this data we call as ungrouped data. Why? Because it is not inside the table. Okay, and it's scattered. The data is scattered. Scattered. Okay, so if you can see here how many uh, data for with uh, how many four data. So there's three, right? So for four, you can see the frequency is three. So for five, you can see the frequency is only two. So each one for two and three. So we can see that the mode is equals to four. We did not write the frequency, but we write the data, which has the highest frequency. Okay, what about this one? B. How many coffee do you see? One, two, three. How many tea do you see? One, two, three. So, how many milk do you see? Two only, right? So, in this case, we can say that the mode of the data is... Because T got the frequency of 3 and coffee also 3. So, they are sharing the same mode. So, we can say that the mode is coffee and tea. Okay? Easy, right? Now, we look at question C. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Do you see any rep repetition of this uh, data? No, right? So, the mode is... We write as no mode because there's no um, repetition of any data. So all the frequency are the same. If the data have the same frequency, so we say that it has no mode. The data has no mode. Okay. So A, B, and C, you see that this three is an ungrouped data. Okay. But what about this one? This is what we call as group data. Okay, what is group data? Group data is normally uh, arranged in a in a table, and then it got the range. Okay, so 145, 250. So this data I took from class one Mujib from my uh, my daughter's class. So we say that uh, from 145, 250, the frequency is only one student with that height so 151 to 154 cm it's five person 145 to 160 it's seven 161 to 164 is two so what is the mode now so for this one we call as model class mode and model class is the same mode is for ungrouped data for group data we call as model class so for the model class for this data we see that 155 to 160 shows the highest the uh, the highest frequency so we take that the class with the highest frequency as the model class so what do we write so we write as 155 to 160 cm to be our mode 
or to be our model class. Okay? Easy, right? Okay, good. Next one. So, these are the examples of median where I show you just now, median is the value that is in the middle of data. The data range in descending or descending order first and then we decide what number of data do we have. Then, after that, um, we see which one uh, formula do we use. Okay, now back to this question, median. Okay, so the median example. So, if you see here, okay, this one should be one. Okay, if you see here, this is ungrouped data as well. So, 4, 7, 2, 3, 4, 9, 6, 2, 1. So, you see that this data is already scattered. So, what we do is that the first thing first, we have to arrange the data ascending or descendingly. So, I like to uh, arrange my data ascendingly. So, what I do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3. I got, I got 2, 2, right? 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 7, and 9. How many data do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is an odd data, right? So we have to find the position of the median just in the middle of the data. So the other way of finding it is bus is just by um, doing like this one and nine seven and two two and six three and four we are finding the median the median numbers from the data so we can say that our median is equals to four just by eliminating first number and last number and then um, to the center, we eliminate, then we get one number, which is equals to 4. Okay. Okay. Now, to question number B. Let's do question B. Now, uh, just now I do ascending order. Now, let's see if I uh, do uh, descending order. Can we still get the answer? Let's see. So... 28, that is the biggest number. I'm going to do the uh, descending arrangement. So, 27, 25, 24. I got 2, 24. 23, 21, and 21. Now, let's eliminate first number and last number. So, first and last, second and uh, the, uh, second last this one and this one and hey we got two number that exactly the same so the median is by taking to this number 24 plus 24 because that is the only number that left right so i divide it with two then if you use your calculator you get median is at 24 okay just like that so easy right now to question number two, the table shows time taken to build a model of a rocket in the science activity for 11 groups of students. Now, you see, the question already told you the number of students, right, in the uh, groups. Okay, so the question said that determine the median using the frequency table. Now, first thing first, class, you have to know that this is a group data. Actually, how to find the group data, the median of group data is easy. Now, you know that the, the number of data is 11, right? So, what you do is that the total frequency is equal to 11. So, the median must be situated from our notes just now because it's odd. Then we have to add 1 to the data. So we see that 11 plus 1 divided by 2. So we can see that 
the data is positioned at 6 position. So, it is situated at 6 position. So, what is it meant? What does it, it mean? Okay. So, I take this one. What I do is that Okay, so I need to add another box to see the position of the uh, data. Okay, so we set this position. So, for number one, uh, so for time 10 minutes, so the position is only at number one. So, the first position is 10. So, this one. So, there are 620. So, we say that from 2 until 7. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is at second data. Okay. So, for this one is 8 until you count with your finger 8, 9 and 10. So, 8, 9, and 10. So, this one will be only 11. So, this is the position of data. We said that this is the position of data. So, if you don't understand, so I'm going to show you what is exactly the position of data. Now, time 10 minutes. How many frequency? 10. One only, right? So, for 20, how many, the fre how many is the frequency? So, 20. So, I need to write 6 position 6 times of 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now 30 i got 3 1 2 3 and 40 i got 1 so re recalculate are you sure you got 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay good so this is what i call you as the position so 10 is located at the first position only for 20 the position is from second until two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the position is from the second position to the seventh position. So this one is located at position eight to ten. And last one, forty position at eleventh. Okay. So because we see that the median is situated at six position six. So we see that position six is in the position six is at located at here around twenty. This is the position of the median. So we can say that our median is located at twenty. The median is at twenty. Okay? I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say and to deliver to you. So, this is how you do the position if you don't understand, okay? Okay, now next one. Now, what if I have another one? The one that I show you just now is an if the data is a odd. Odd number. What if the data is even number? Now, let's read the question first. The table shows time taken to solve the number of crossword puzzles in the Malay language society activity for 12 groups of students. So, it's given that the time is 10, 10 minutes to solve. So, the frequency is 2, only 2, uh, 24, uh, time 30 minutes is 5, and time 40 minutes is 1. So, first thing first. What to do is that you have to write the number of frequency. So the number of frequency just now is 12. So, so this means that it is even, right? So the median is situated at average data. Uh, 12 divided by 2 
and one more is 12 divided by 2 plus 1. So this is the position. So 12 and 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 2 plus 1 and is 7. So the data, the median is situated between position 16 and position 17. Okay? So let's... Uh, Let's see where is our median located in this data. Okay. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. Now, let's do the position. Okay, so position. So, 10, meaning that it is situated at first and second. Okay, fourth means third to six, right? Okay, let me get it simple. One to two. This one, the position is at three to. How do you count? Okay, you just need... To use your finger after three you count four three four five six so it should be situated from three to six and then seven after six is seven seven is seven eight nine ten eleven so the position is uh, for time 30 minutes uh, seven until uh, eleven please and the last one twelve eleven um, frequency one is twelve so if you still don't understand, you can always do the ungrouped data like this, yeah? Okay. First and second. So, 20, we got 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 30, we got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 40, we got 1. Okay. So, first and second. Third, fourth, sixth, seventh. 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, sorry, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this one is 11, uh, 12. So, because it's situated at 6 and 7, so we see that 6 and 7. So, the data is in between position 6 and 7 if you see 6 and 7 it's located here at time 30 minutes and time 20 minutes so what to do is that to find the median it must be in the middle of the data so 20 plus 30 divided by 2 so our median is equals to 25 okay right i hope you can uh, understand this how to find the median for even and odd number so let me see okay so for just now question number one is for ungroup data for question number two is group data and also question number three group data as well okay that is for median now, for the last one, for mean example, I only got one uh, example only. Huh? Okay, because mean is uh, quite easy. Now, mean is actually average. Okay, synonym for mean is average. So, mean is the formula for mean. I rewrite the total value of data divided by number of data so in this case how many number of data we do we have let's read the question first table above shows a collection of the jogaton money from each class calculate the average jogaton money that had been collected so we see that we have five number of data that's right we have number of data 
we have 5 so we have to find the total value of data in average we want to calculate we total all together and we divide with how many number of data do we have. So the total value of data, we start with the form 1 because uh, this is the collection of Jogaton money from each class. We say that this is form 1, from form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4 and form 5. So the first one is 73 ringgit, last one and 28 ringgit 50 cent, plus with um, 81 ringgit 20 cent, plus 152 ringgit 30 cent, plus... 80 ringgit and 10 cent okay you can take your calculator and help me to get the answer together so i didn't uh, calculate first i need to find this first okay so i got the total value of data the total collection that we have is 515 ringgit 10 cent so to find the mean is equals to rm 515 ringgit 10 cent divided by how many number of data do we have five so you will get rm 103 ringgit and two cents okay that's how you solve the I mean, okay, I show you another one, okay? So, this is when you have to use the... Uh, okay. Sorry, I need to take your time to draw this first. Okay, I hope you can understand. Okay, number of students. So, internet, the usage of internet, yeah? So, this is like a real data. So, the number of students use the internet usage. So, you got 2, 6, 11, 7, and 9. So, in this case, what you do is that you cannot calculate the value. You cannot just add the value. So, in this case, you have to find the formula is... I need to rewrite this first, yeah? Um, the table shows the hours of internet usage. What do you do with your internet? Did you use it for your own good? To find, to do research? Or to do TikTok? Or YouTube? Okay. In a day, sorry. Oh. Okay. So this shows the number of students This is the number of students. So this is the internet usage. Okay. So in this case you cannot just calculate how many number of students divided by internet. Uh, usage okay so you have to use this formula okay so mean is equals to sum of f x divided by sum of f so what is this is sum yeah i know you know what this is as uh, a symbol for sum f is the frequency x is the data and F is the frequency. Okay. So what you do is that. First thing first. You have to find the. Let's see. The mean. So if the question said that sum of Fx. Meaning that. The number of the students will be your frequency. The internet usage will be your data. So what we do is that. We have to multiply this together. 1 times 2 plus 2 times 6 plus 3 times 11 plus 4 times 7 plus 
फाइव टाइम्स नाइन ओवर विथ सम ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस इज अवर फ्रीक्वेंसी जिस नाउ आई से टू जिस नाउ सो दिस इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी राइट सो यू जिस नीड टू एड ऑल द फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इफ यू एड दैट ऑल यू गैट थर्टी फाइव राइट सो टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस इलेवन प्लस सेवन प्लस नाइन सो द क्वेश्चन से दैट we want to calculate the mean of the frequency so total that up the numerator you get 120 hours divided by the number of frequency which is 35 so if you divide 120 hours to 35 you get 3.43 hours so in this case the mean is equals to 3.43 hours the usage of the average usage of internet for form 2 students okay so by that i hope you can understand and try to understand um what uh what am i going to uh what am i trying to say to you guys okay so in uh again in uh measures of central tendency we got only three things which is mode median and mean so in mode median and mean mode is the highest frequency median is the data that is situated in the middle of the data so mean uh, sorry median is the value of the data that is situated in the middle of data so mean is the average value from the set of data or the the easiest meaning of mean is actually average okay so the the symbol for mean is mu or x cap all right so i think that's all for today i hope you can really understand and try to understand my lesson today if you don't understand well you